Ahead of next weekend's elections, a group, the Nigerians Voters Watch, has expressed displeasure over the current attacks on voters and party faithfuls by political thugs. The group cited some of the issues that must be addressed before, during and after the elections by INEC to include the safety and security of voters, educating voters at polling units and sanctioning of political parties who commit any act of intimidation and threats on election day. You cannot have a free and fair election when there is intimidation, threats, and physical harm to people. This is completely unacceptable. Law enforcement agents are actually doing something about it. Now, we are talking about what INEC can do or should do. INEC should pay particular attention because INEC registered these political parties. They should call them to order. The fact, INEC withdrew 240 polling units and redistributed same, either to merge them with other polling units or create a different polling units. We, who are supposed to know better, have not even heard about it until recently. And certainly, most people don't know if they are included. As I'm talking to you now, now we're talking about vo voters on election day. If these things are happening prior to election, it becomes important that INEC should make arrangements and let us know what arrangements they are on how to secure people on election day after the Saturday violence, the police should not be caught napping. We do understand that they do know the flashpoints in Lagos. Now that they have shown that um, Lagos is certainly going to be a serious uh, violent area, they know the flashpoints and should have their men and officers on ground. It is unacceptable that um, a single political party is trying to hold the whole of Nigeria by the balls. It's not acceptable. And so the international community should take full notice of what is happening in Lagos, not just by the actors themselves, but even by those who seem to be the ones behind the scene directly. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.